are here for Kid Quest. All right. Astrid, right there. Arya, raise your hand. Right there. Oakley, raise your hand right there. All right, so we have my son, Ryan's two daughters. Would you guys like to describe your characters real quick? My character is Buckthorn. What does Buckthorn look like? He looks like a rabbit with horns. Rabbit with horns on his helmet, so he's a jackalope? Yep. Does he look, is he wearing any armor? Yes. Yes, what color? Uh, Blue, Blue. and what yeah, color? Gold armor. And what color is his fur? My fur is white. All right. White fur. Aria, what is your character's name? My, my character's name is Mortimer. Mortimer. And I'm a giraffe dog. That's right. Describe Mortimer for me a little bit. Um, he, he loves to hug people with his neck. Um... But one of his least favorite things to do um, is, oh my god, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's um, all he right. doesn't like to light his butt on fire sometimes, but he just hides Oh it my goodness gracious. No, like his tail sword. That's right, he does it on accident. He's like. Then he smells something smoking. He's like. Oh my gosh. What does he look like? Okay, so, um, he's like, um, an orange, like, Looks, well, he's, looks he's like a giraffe tar. Yeah, he looks like a giraffe, but a half man. Is giraffe. he wearing any clothes? Nope. Nope. Going all natural. Yeah. All right. And Astrid, what is your character's name? Um, Twilight. Twilight. And what does Twilight look like? She's a purple pony, and she has a, a unicorn horn, and she got wings. That's right. And she got a, a cutie mark with sparkles a on it. cutie mark with sparkles? Where is it? Well, some were um, white. On one of her sides? Yeah. Oh, very cool. All right. Well, guys, last we left off, Buckthorn, Morty, and Twilight Wait, had... Morty? Mortimer. Morty is a short way to say Mortimer. Remember? The man at the lighthouse was calling you Morty. All right, so last we left off, our adventuring crew had just made their way to the town where they made two new friends. Do you remember who your friends were you made? Uh, um, one was like a small little dwarf. A dwarf, that's right. And, and there was His name one was Fallen. And, there was, and we made friends with um, a knight that was guarding the gate. That's right. And do you remember his name? Mm -hmm. Bastion. All right. So you met up with Fallen and Bastion because they also knew the tale. The Dream Eater. Thunderstrikes. Did that for dramatic effect. You seem very well. All right, so they are accompanying you back to do to do to do. Let me check my notes. <laughs> uh, back to Tink's house. Tink, do you remember who Tink is? Yeah. Tink is the guy that um said for us to go downstairs and find the thing. That's right. Tink is also the keeper of the lighthouse. Yep. All right. So I'll describe those he guys for you. Us. He did. Remember, he stayed at the house, and he told you to go get help. 
right? Yeah, and the help with that knight and the guy who That's actually right, right because they seem really cool. Yeah. And really and, the, and it seems like they have a lot of weapons because the guy that upgrades weapons seems like he builds weapons. Very good memory. Oakley gets a point of inspiration for that. So, let me tell you what inspiration does. And we, and we go somewhere. We go far away. Yeah. So, the way it works in this set of rules at this table with you guys, when I give you an inspiration point, you can choose to re-roll any roll and take the higher number. Okay? Okay. All right. I'm going to save that so I can get more so I can, so I can do that a lot. Oh, that's a good idea. It's a good idea. All right. So, y'all are headed back to the lighthouse following Bastion, the very large, very in charge. Wearing silver, shiny armor, paladin. Yeah, and right behind him trudges Fallen, the dwarf barbarian. He's not wearing a shirt. He's just got on a kilt. But he has across his back two really big axes. But if you look, if you, you did... I'm getting predictable, huh? But what you notice about these axes is right in the middle of the blade looks to be a gear. Like maybe it would spin. Well, they're leading the way back. And now, what would you guys like to do? Would you like. Tink? Tink, and I would like to ask Tink, what should we do? All right, so as Buckthorn, tell the rest of your group that you want to do that. Um, I want to go inside the lighthouse and tell Tink um, what we have to do now. What? I think it's on the board. What did you say down there? I'm sorry I couldn't hear you. Should we do now? Oh, we're not at the lighthouse yet. This is Bastion. Turns around and looks at you. Sorry, I didn't tell you Bastion turned around. Bastion turns around and says, I'm sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. Um, uh, lighthouse and ask, what should we do next? And then Fallen turns around. Well, I'm not really sure that's the just... The best idea, but it might, might not be a bad idea. You know, sometimes when I can't make a decision, I like to flip a potato. And then he just stares at you. Why, why do you like to flip a potato? Well, isn't it obvious? What? Heads you go, tails you don't. Belly, it's just up for interpretation. Exactly. Oh, so whoever flips the I think he's getting the hang of it. By the way, what he's saying is not supposed to make any sense. He's a little cuckoo, cuckoo. Crazy, cuckoo, crazy. And then I just like pull out of the table out of my pocket and I'm like, but George, she's a natural. You okay. win. Let's go to the lighthouse. Oh. Well, look at that. You got the belly. It's up for interpretation. I think we should head to the lighthouse now. Oh, she was not. Was she stacking her dice? I'm just teasing. Tell, like, tell, tell. Do I throw a dice to that? Nope. 
You use one of your spell slots. You have three left. I can one roll fast. So that means you get three more. So that's mine. That's mine. I can one it up of All right. So Buckthorn just poof disappears and leaves behind him an orange cloud of sparkly yeah, smoke. Want. And it's not smell like carrots. Why am I I believe it does smell like carrots. This way. Oh, would you look at that? He made it to the lighthouse already. That's just unsporting. What no? Look, I know I'm a bit crazy, but are my eyes really failing me? Twilight? Twilight? Are my eyes not working or did you see that? She stuck her head in the toilet from nowhere and disappeared. What do you think about that? Hey, hold on, I'm, I'm asking Astrid a question. What did you think about that? Am I going crazy or did you see it too? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Bless and take my soul. And then Bastion grabs him by the back of his big ponytail and starts dragging him. Come on this way. All right, so. Okay. She has dice in game. What does she use them for? She makes them medicine. Oh, makes medicine out of dice. Interesting. Um, you know why I was down the toilet? Look at that. I thought it said Portal Potty. Portal Potty. That's the name of your spell. Writing that down. Canon Kid Quest Portal Potty. PM. Trademark. <laughs> Aren't kids amazing? <laughs> Where people go to the bathroom, I went down that hole. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then came up, um, all right, ready? Eyes up here, guys. Eyes up here, hands in the air. Everyone's paying attention. Flap them round like you just don't care. All right, Sidley's out. Ready to go back in the game? All right, here we go. Okay, everybody makes their way up to the lighthouse. Okay. It's too loud, sweetie. Too loud, okay? Nope. No, it's okay to be silly in the game. Let's just not make too much noise, right? Remember? Let's not make too much noise. All right. So, we get to the door, and Tink is inside now. But Bastion and Fallen are nowhere to be seen. They just disappeared. I thought I sent you guys to go get help. See anybody? But, Who are you talking about? And then I and then I come downstairs and I'm like, and with poop all over me, I'm like, yeah, we did really bad decisions. Oh, what happened to you? I oh, you down, smell terrible. I went down a party party because I thought it said portal party. Oh yeah, you can't go down those there. That ooh, and he goes. I go back. Uh, I can hold it in. Just give me a second. Well, what? Where did your help go? Well, we were driving back to the White House. Well, everyone roll a dice for me? Ooh, is it a D20? Yes. Uh, 10? I promise to. I got 13. 13? Ooh, roll it. Hey, help what Astrid. She's got you. The big one. Well, and, and tell us what number. Help, help her. And don't cheat. Oh, she won't. She Ready? Boom. She got 14. 14. Okay. Mortimer, keep saying what you were saying. Um, we, they just dragged the, the, they, they were, the big guy dragged the little guy uh -huh. into the, 
the light your this lighthouse and so when we come back it's gone. And they're gone. And as she's saying this, Buckthorn and Twilight, you both notice a sound. And it sounds like it's coming from the painting. Oh gosh, this oh. is the, the dream eater took them. But you know what? Dream eater took them. But can I tell you this? Um, See, the I dream eater took them. Oh no, the, the dream eater, they're in the painting. Mortimer. What? What? I don't, I can't hear anything. I pooped my ears. Well, clean it out. We're in trouble. Put water, put water. Where did the water come from? Question for later. What are we going to do? You got to go in and save them. Can I see we the have water? water. Okay, and then I stick my head through and I'm like, I see them right there, but it might Wait, be a little... you try to stick your head through the painting? You go to stick your head through the painting, but... You place your hands on it. Start placing your hands on it. Oh, no. Try... No, I bumped my head because I used my head. You bonk your head into it. It's sealed shut again. It's still really cold. Oh, no. They're going back to the magic mode. It's I don't want to go back to that dungeon. Don't talk to each other about what you're going to do. I can't. We can't because we use all the magic and there's no more magic stuff. Unless our gauntlet. Where's our gauntlet? Maybe there's magic and magic in them. I think... You, should... you want to try your gauntlets again? I, I don't think they have enough magic to break the seal. Twilight, what were you saying? No, we're not in battle. We're not in battle yet. Hey, guys, mind each other's space. Okay, it's all right. Twilight, what were you saying? Do you have an idea? I think we should go to... Somewhere secret. Somewhere secret? Yeah. Do you have somewhere in mind? I felt something. I felt something you know? walking by. You felt something walking by? Yeah. Oh, goodness. We're being followed. We do need to go somewhere secret. But Quick, follow me. Wait, no, no, no. Um, I, I, I know where well, this place is. Well, Hear it while we run. Follow me and tell me. Maybe you can pass my portal to me. What? There's a secret area in it. Save your spells. I've got a portal upstairs. Okay. So yo, follow him. Run, Wait, run, everybody, run. Uh, no, nope, don't do it. No, don't, 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 don't do it. Save it. Okay. Save it for when you need it. Okay. Everybody, run. Everybody, run at the same time. Oh no, Buckthorn's falling behind. Mortimer's falling behind. You guys gotta run. Okay, boom. We make it to the top. Here, quick, this way! And he grabs the big lever. Oh, and where are my dice? Oh, no! A, a diceless DM. There they are. I got it, thank you. Oh, he goes to pull the lever. And oh, it pulls back down. Oh, no! Roll a d20. Oh, let's see, let's see if he gets it. Or do you run over and help him? Hopefully, what's the number? 20. Let me see. Natural 20. Are you serious? Buckthorn comes over and goes, <gasps> smack. And it just goes, gling, 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 gling. goodness, you're strong for a little guy. And as, as the lever falls over, the light turns on in the lighthouse, but the lever starts to fall back and he grabs it and says, quick, go, run. You gotta get in the light. Y'all jump into the portal? No, I don't jump in, I cannonball in. You cannonball in? And then I was supposed to quickly grab you and yank you. You pull me in behind you? Yep. Oh, we, shoo. 
You jumped on my head as he's pulling me. Okay, this is the best scene ever. Ready? All right, open your ears. Open them. Right. Open them and listen. All right. So, Mortimer runs to jump in the light while Tink is still holding the lever, keeping it from falling. Tumbles, jumps, and you hear a bloop as he cannonballs into the portal. Quickly followed by Buckthorn as he dashes double his speed using his rabbit agility, snatching Tink by the forearm and pulling him through with him right as Twilight opens her giant, beautiful purple wings and and takes all four hooves over Tink's head as he goes, oh! We all make it through and the portal closes. I don't know what you pulled me through for. What you pulled me through for? Oh, you took me away from my home. You took me away. And he balls up in the corner and puts his thumb in his mouth. Yeah. What are you doing? Eat. 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 I haven't left my house in 37 years. Oh, the horror. Who you? Okay, I feel better. And then I wrap my neck around you and I, I, I squeeze you in. I'm just playing. And if you and I say this, if you ever get sad, then just hop in my portal and tell me. It's actually really safe in there. You give great hugs. And he just kind of melts into I'm it. I miss. And then I just squeeze you in my portal. Oh, it's great in here. Oh, there's pizza. Yeah. Wait, is this the pizza that I made? Yeah, yeah, we saved them in our portal. I think I'm most like those. Like, then you see, a, yeah. you see a tree in there. I'm like, okay. So, Tink is inside your portal tummy. You guys. Ready? Astrid, ready? You enter into the new space. The light was blinding as you jumped in. You have to rub your eyes and adjust as all this happens. And as you open your eyes, you're in a room that you can tell is very high. In a castle, maybe? A tower on top of a mountain? An airship? I wonder what it could be. Do you choose to look around and examine the room? Yeah. yeah, I'm just like, I, I'm putting my, I put my head in my portal and I'm like, are you okay in there? Yeah, it's great in here. This pizza kind of stinks, though. Are you want to examine the room, too? You want to look around and see where you are? Okay, Oakley, Oakley and Astrid, roll a d20 for me. An eight? Astrid, will you help her, Aria? Uh-huh. I was so close to a D20 look. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, it's just a game. Sometimes the most fun is failing a role. It can be yeah. really funny and silly. Yeah, sometimes you can hey, even part. Remember, it's just a game. Don't worry. I, just, I got it. What'd you roll? See, okay. I, 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 ro hey, roll it again for me because I can't tell which one you rolled. Aria, and hey. tell me which one she rolled, please. A six? Okay. And I got a two. It looks like a room. <laughs> that, we already knew that. We're so... It's like, it's like, it's like this. We're, it's, it's like we're like this. We're like this. Uh, we're really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just hard to discern. You start, you start looking around. You pull your head out of your tummy portal and start helping them look. And everybody's looking and it's just kind of hard to tell. Well, like, There's no markings on the walls. It's very plain. Oh, All that's in there is a bed, a desk, a door, and a window. What? That's horrible because like, there's a guest bedroom and his office. Kind of. 
Do you want to look out the window? Mm, I don't look out the window. I'll you look. all go look out the window? Okay. Who I'll look out the window. do y'all want to who wants to open the window first? Um, I did you did the you did the lever. Let's let you want to let Astrid do it? Okay. Twilight. Twilight. You open the window. And as soon as you do, wind comes and blows your mane through the air. You go to look out of the window. You're in a tower far above the clouds. You look down, and there's a castle. But you can see the ground. The ground itself is flying above the clouds. You are now in Eagle's Reach Roost. The castle and the sky. Wait, it's kind of like um, what I told you to do. What do y'all want to do? I would what I would do is hop on the land and I then fly. and then I would like go to the castle. I would fly. I'm just gonna go down. I'm just going to fly. Okay, so let me before you decide you wanna jump down. You are a hundred and twenty feet off the ground in a tower. I, I no toilet in that room. I use toilet to get around the toilet. Y'all can I, always open the door and explore down the tower to see where you're at. I would have How about we let How about we let Arya do it since both of you have already done one? No, I didn't make something different. I was going to do sometime one of the episodes um he uses his map and puts the head all the way down on the ground. And then he, his body comes down with it, and he doesn't get injured. Okay, I, I love that for the narrative. So, we're going to say that your dimension door can be however you describe it. So, you have used two dimension doors, one portal potty, and one neck stretch. You have three spells left. So you have spell? Yes. Wait. You two have more spells because you're wizards. He has less spells because he is a knight. But since he has less spells, he also has a sword that catches on fire. That makes up for him not having one more spell. So I'll let you decide. You can either use your spell to do your neck thing or... You can walk down the stairs and save your spell for later. I will save my spell. Okay. Astrid, do you want to follow them down the stairs or do you want to jump out the window and fly? You do have wings. Okay. Twilight prances out the window, leaps. The sun speckles through her rainbow and purple mane. She doesn't have a rainbow. Well, look. It's purple, but as the light hits it, it gives rainbow shimmers through the light. You jump, your wings unfurl. You catch the wind and safely fly down. You mean like those kinds? Yep. No, she flies all the way down to the ground. So, you guys go to the door. Morty, do you want to open it? Since you didn't get to do your spell? Okay. Mortimer, you go to open the door, and it's locked. What are you two going to do to get out? Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to use my flaming sword to flame the door on fire and then burn it down. All right, tell Mortimer. Um, I'm going to use my sword to burn the wooden door down. Wait, I, I, have, one, get, I have a better idea. Um, And then I, I just put my hand in my... um my pocket and then I grab a tree out of it and I just um I'm just looking at You it. grab a tree out of it? Yes, I have a whole stuff there. Alright, I'm gonna need you to roll a D twenty for a strength check. Sixteen. 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 Sixte
16. Mortimer pulls a tree out of his pouch. Buckthorn takes his sword, lights the tree ablaze, and you both grab it and go, charge! And bust the door, flaming. Splinters fly down the hallway. The door goes tumbling down. Go, 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 go. Now, the door is down, but you have a tree that's on fire. What are you going to do with it? Oh, I can put it back in my pocket. But it's on fire. Okay, you know what? As you put it in your portal tummy, you hear, Oh, God, fire! F good thing there's water in here. <laughs> And Tink puts the tree out with all of the water that is also in your pouch. And then I, I take him out of my pouch and I'm like, I'm sorry. Uh, can I go back in there, please? Thank you. This pizza is delicious. All right. It's just Loki. Don't worry. All right. Loki is the dog, by the way. All right. So. You knock the door down, you stuff the tree down into your pouch, and you start making your way down the stairs through the courtyard, and you don't notice any people. Eagles. Um it is Eagles Reach Roost. That's what it's called. What? Hi, guys. Stream is so wildly interrupted by the one and only Symphony Dinglehopper. All right. Yeah. All right. So you're staring at the flowers while they're making their way down. All right. Now. You notice as you come into this great hall. Are they talking to the flower? Oh, that's perfect. Are they talking back? You know what? You haven't got a turn in a minute. I will describe the room for you guys in just a moment. Okay. What do you ask the flowers? And what color are they? The color is purple. Purple? And what do you ask the flower? I have been waiting for somebody to ask me that my whole life. My name is Dead Flower, and I will marry you. But first, you must promise to never leave this spot, as if my roots leave this earth, I will perish. That means you can never go anywhere. Do you walk away, or do you pluck the flower? You pluck the flower. Oh, goodness. At least I get to perish in my true love arms. Goodbye, beautiful. And he withers. You pluck him, and he withers into a purple dust. Listen. Withers into a purple dust that floats away in the wind. All right, so back to you guys. You walk in to the hall, the great hall of the Eagles Reach Roost. Hold on. Is she still holding that pink dust? That You're not there with her yet. Oh. You walk into the great hall. I'm making I'm going a new flower. Astrid, you just got your turn. We're going to give them their turn right now, okay? Thumbs up. Daddy. Listening ears. Yeah. All right. No. Just a moment. Oh. Yes, sir. Um, I've got a mentoring cake in the... In the house. 
Well, guys, that's been Kid Quest for the night. We end the session with... We go into Eagle's Nest or Eagle's Reach Roost. Uh, we find out that the Great Hall is empty. Their friends have been sucked into the painting. And Twilight got married to a flower. <laughs> find out what happens next time on Kids Quest. I want to thank everybody that tuned in and joined us for streaming YouTube. Um, we had a great time. It's always awesome playing with kids. Everybody wave bye! Jerry buys! May Chan thumbs up! How do you turn this thing off? <laughs>